Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Daily Dish. My name is Valerie Ike and on today's episode, we're hanging out with actress and model Ubemi Eje. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing you can't good. whisper. I'm doing good. I'm, that's why I came back. <laughs> you came, you guys, how I'm you doing feeling? good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I love your hair. Like we just, I feel like we instantly connected yes. because of the <laughs> lack of hair. I've been looking for somebody else. Like I've been... Since I cut my hair, I've been like, cut your hair tonight. I won't look good together. You know what's so funny? Whenever people approach me and they're like, oh, like your hair, you're so bold. Like, mm-hmm. what made you cut your hair? I always tell them, you used to have cut your hair. It's a fit you, Try don't it. worry. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like we're always trying to recruit people. Yes, I always trying to recruit people. So let's talk about, okay, so your hairstyle is not the only thing that's unique. Your name is as well. Where are you from? I'm from Shekiri, Delta State. Okay. Madino. Yeah. So if you were to shorten your name, what would you shorten it to? Boobs. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> That's what they call me. <laughs> Fair enough. So, tell me about transitioning from being a law graduate mm-hmm. to being a model and an actress. In all honesty, mm-hmm. I just knew that I wasn't going to practice law in school. Fair enough. I really wanted to study theater arts, but my okay. dad was like, mm, it's not professional. You can't make any money off that. Are and we like, twins? Is that what happened? That's what happened to me as well. Ah! My dad drew a whole map for me and told me that if I studied mass communication, I was like not going to amount to anything. Mm. And I studied economics and then like I'm here. So, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's just... Sorry, because that period I was begging that please, um, Mm -hmm. this is something. So, I don't know. Drama was just easy for me. Mm -hmm. I think it was really relaxing. It was like an escape thing for me. Okay. Which I really wanted wanted to explore. But... Okay. I was like, then I read law, and while in school, I was just like, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Honestly, mm-hmm. like, did you? So you never went to law school? No, I never did. Fair enough. I mean, if you're going to practice it, then like, what's uh, the yeah, point of like, like doing like going? So now I still have aunties and uncles who are like, when are you when going, are you to, going law to law school? Going to school? Yeah. No, never. No. <laughs> so let's talk about your career as a model. Yeah. So apparently, you were on the cover of Two Savages, forty nine ninety nine. Yes. How did that come about? I was just looking for work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and this came up. They were looking for models. I applied mm-hmm. and got in. I didn't even know it was Tiva Savage initially. So okay. getting to set, I'm like, ah, ah. you guys, you didn't even pay me the money that that's, I'm supposed to yeah, be collecting for fair. this. And that's annoying yeah, as well. Yeah, but it was yeah. really fun to do that. It was yeah. fun. Okay. So let's talk about Color Me Pink. Hmm. Let's talk about it. It was a, a stage play that you did. Yes, it was like the first... Um, professional stage play i did i've been doing stage even in school when i was okay. studying law i was still in okay. i was still doing theater this was like the first professional one i did and mm-hmm. um it had to do with women cancer mm-hmm. it was really emotional okay and it was eye-opening okay it was fun okay like I say. how did you feel to like perform in front of like so many people live like i mean you've been doing it since but like in a professional setting yeah. like how did it feel for you did you feel like oh well, that means i know my like i know what i'm doing is that how it felt for you i actually get so much i feel so alive during stage okay because everything has to be perfect you can't go back repeat your lines you mm-hmm. have to get everything right mm-hmm. on cue on time mm-hmm. and i always feel so alive being on stage so okay. it was fun i feel like most most actors that have done stage plays tend to prefer stage to film do you prefer stage to film as well it's not, it's not like i've done a lot of stage mm-hmm. but like do you, do you just prefer it some ways yes okay. i do okay. i do fair enough so let's talk about your first role in Nollywood. What was mm. it? I played an extra. Okay. I was on um, Africa Magic Hustle. Okay. Yeah. So I've been auditioning. I've not gotten... I didn't mm-hmm. get through. And finally, I got this. They called me back. I got a set. I just, I just had one scene to play. Mm. I was so happy. I'm sure. I was so happy. You played your heart out of that scene. I, 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 was, told, I was like, uh, is there any more? I can't. <laughs> anything, anything extra to do? Oh. Yeah, but that was my first. It was really short, but mm. I would never forget it. Oh, okay, fair enough. So now tell me the favorite role you've played. I've played a lot of roles that I've, that I really really enjoyed. Mm-hmm. I love roles that take me out of my comfort zone. Okay. Um, that somehow like, I love roles that stress me. Okay. Like if it doesn't stress me, it's like okay. okay. But when it stresses me, I have to put all my so like in, in Shanty Town. I wasn't in Shanty Town. Were you Shanty Town? Mm-hmm. Wasn't that you? Well, yeah, no. Okay. Okay. So carry on. Sorry. Well, I like characters that. What challenges me. Okay, so. fair enough. So which character has challenged you the most? Uh, 
There's one I did recently. It's not out yet. Okay. That's the reason why I cut my hair. Really? Yeah. So you cut your hair for a movie role? I did. JP. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what was your character like? You don't have to go into detail, obviously. But like, what's your character like? Um, she was very emotional, trying to find her, her way. Mm-hmm. Also, dying. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was so it was very dramatic. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. We're going to go on a very short break, and like when we come back, we're going to talk more about you and like the work you've done. Okay, stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. We're still hanging out with boobs. Can I call you that? I'm going to find you for the purpose of this podcast. Please We're still do. hanging out with boobs. <laughs> and let's talk about your role as a Dufay in Far From Home. Yes. How was that for you? Like I would say, fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, we auditioned a lot. Mm-hmm. I can so imagine. so much pressure. I can imagine. I think the first, the last audition I did, I wasn't even supposed to get the role, mm-hmm. you know. So I think the person they had seen for the role wasn't around. Okay. So they just brought me in to, like, oh, assist wow. and help me. And I didn't even know that. Oh, wow. So after that day, look at me hoping. Mm-hmm. So the, I think they ended up sending the clips to Netflix. Mm-hmm. And they were like, um, so that's the girl playing Adufe. They were mm-hmm. like, no, she's not the one. She's just a stand-in. And they're like, no, 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 that's she's the person the playing Adufe. Oh, I love that, that for you. that was how I got it. Love that for you. Oh, that's that amazing. was how I swear. I was like, God, Thank my you. God did it. <laughs> <laughs> that was how I got it. And um, the set was really, really, everything, it was like the most, that's been like one of the best sets I've ever been on because okay. everything was smooth. It was, it Proper. ran easily. Mm-hmm. It was it was really good. Okay, so a lot of people say that Adufe had the best character development on the show. Yes. What would you say? Look at you, like yeah. Yes, she did. <laughs> so what would you say to that? Like you agree? Yeah. Was Look it? at where she started from mm-hmm. and where she ended. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I absolutely agree. I feel like she was a loss when she started, but like you could see that she was just literally a product of her environment, yeah. and she just wanted literally a better life for herself. Mm-hmm. So. I guess is do you method act do you have to like throw yourself into films when you're acting or is it just something that do you do you leave do you take characters home with you sometimes do you just some things okay not like what I don't know it's just how probably how they talk or characteristics of characters I end up learning some things from the them because sometimes i'm not like these characters okay. and then when i end up playing them i'm like i like how she does this thing. yeah I like that for sure in my life, so, yeah. yeah okay so let's talk about um the ships in far from home the ships <laughs> the ships ships <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we know who you'll be rooting for but let's talk about carmen and um, ishaya yeah. how did you feel about that sort of you know quote unquote um rivalry between you and Carmen. <laughs> I don't even want Ishaya can you you're not you're not really bothered about Isha. If you your think? boyfriend was leaving the country and he didn't tell you he was planning on leaving the country. Yes, yeah. 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 That's not really your boyfriend, is he? He is not. He's so not your boyfriend. He can, he can, he can, he can be good at me. <laughs> Fair enough. So we heard you on MTV Sugar. Yes. Okay, I love how you said the yes. <laughs> what should we expect from this season? Oh, this season, it's... Um, Sugar is about um, educating the young. Mm-hmm. Of course. Sexual um, orientation. Sexual health, yeah. yeah, sexual health. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Domestic violence. Um, also, arranged marriage. Mm-hmm. But that was more of my character. She okay. was just trying... She's a very, very young girl, 100 level, and just trying mm-hmm. to live life. But mm-hmm. then her father is trying to pawn her off. Mm-hmm. to this landlord who has been taking care of their responsibilities mm-hmm. just because he can't stand up to take care of his family yeah. and she's supposed to like sit in for that and it's just the whole struggle that's what my character dealt okay. with and there's just a lot of uh, yeah domestic violence there's also community that's one thing i really liked about the sugar mm-hmm. is um some of ti- some of the times we tend to like go through these things alone alone yeah but then I when agree. you have people around you that support you mm-hmm. and they make you even see the value of what you have to offer yes then you you rethink things and you definitely make better decisions okay so I obviously have to find out. I love I like I love the roles that you play. I was talking to you about the role that you did in um 
What's that show called? The one on Undani, um, Game On. Yes. You are very annoying on that show. I know. Leaving your earring in the car, all those things I that know. you. Are doing. I know. I feel like you are an amazing actress because, like I just said, you are very annoying, and I don't know you do get like so. Like I could literally be like, "What is this like girl on like on the show?" Yeah. So I'd really like to know what else you're getting into. Like there's still a few months in the year. Mm-hmm. Besides the role that you spoke about that you cut your hair for, mm-hmm. is there anything else that we should expect from you that, before the year ends? Modeling, acting or even filmmaking you know oh now you talk about filmmaking Mm -hmm. recently i've been really really thinking about just creating something for myself it's not i don't it doesn't have to be elaborate but i just like to put my brain or whatever i'm thinking i would Mm -hmm. like to create something for myself so that's definitely a given I'm okay. really working on that. You're working on new film. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Okay. I really I hope I come through. I really do. I think you will. I think you're you're very like you're so like your characters that you play are very like there's no mistaking what kind of character you are. Like you're very clear about the kind of person you are in film. So mm-hmm. I think if you translate that into your work, like it will definitely it will one hundred percent. Thank you. You do an amazing job. Thank you. So let's talk about the films that you're in though, because you're not going to run away from that question. <laughs> <laughs> allowed to talk about them but we should expect some things from you yes in the cinema or streaming platforms both okay girl i love that she's like both (laughs) before i let you go do you have any advice for like young upcoming actors and actresses that are trying to pretty much make it big quote unquote because once you have a netflix film or you have a film in the cinema it's like oh you've blown Mm. but like what real life advice do you have for people that are trying to make it in the the film industry um it feels like it gets easier the more you walk the more Mm -hmm. exposure you get but it it gets harder yeah it gets harder i would just say be sure of who you are really know who you are it really matters to to believe in yourself because there are times you you expect people to believe in you or there's just a certain there are certain people that you just want some encouragement from mm-hmm. and they don't give that they to you and you start to, to think you're shit yeah but you're really not mm-hmm. um so it's um believe in yourself and do the work make mm-hmm. sure you give your all in whatever mm-hmm. it is you're doing no matter how small it is okay give your all in it and um before you know things are lying okay things i think that's, that's very fair advice like you definitely have to give your all and you can't look to someone else to like encourage you and like ginger you. and maintain relationships also network sideways also because most of the people that i started with now we are all we look at each other and we're just just you know, like how do you remember the time when we were trekking we're like oh, it's, it's mm-hmm. nice that it's mm-hmm. and then that just gives you hope that yeah it, like good things are good coming things, yeah right? okay fair enough that's mm-hmm. very fair i absolutely yeah one of the actresses like in hollywood that like if i see their year in a film i'm very excited to watch oh, because and i'm not just saying that i have i don't think i've said this to anybody that i've interviewed on this podcast but i just feel like it's very you just it's just obvious that you are happy to be there and like you're just doing your thing like is there no airs no shaka i really love that so i wish you all the success in the world Thank and you. i can't wait to see more stuff that you do Thank you. so can you let the viewers at home know where they can find you on social media so that they can love you too like i do <laughs> hi guys my name is bube mia jay i'm an actor and you can find me on instagram at the bube mia jay that's really the only place i'm at twitter and the rest not really no, just 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 instagram <laughs> <laughs> all right fair enough and for those of you at home if you want to visit our social media platform on instagram it is spice tv underscore africa until next time thank you so much for watching daily dish and i will see you soon